Hey guys and girls! I've made some really good progress on my biodome. Just need to put up the glass and decorate inside. If you look past there, you can see a X made of dirt. That'll be a little biodome with a house inside of it. That'll be my main house. I have storage underneath, I think. I'm just waiting for the grass to grow out. I've expanded my mushroom pen because something cool happened. And I'm going to start out showing you something cool, and then I'm going to kind of apologize and explain why it's been so long between videos. By the way, before I explain what this is, I just, I hate cave spiders. I still have the footage, so um, what happened was I found my very first cave spider spawner in the middle of this awesome mine. It was over a ravine filled with lava and I died. I lost most of my stuff. Thankfully I'd made a little save point thing with my usual sense of humor. Died again, died again, then I died again and uh, I finally just took it out with my bare fists. Like a man! I did it! And then I ran back, because I died again right after that, and I grabbed my stuff. I got some melons, I got some, uh, pumpkins. Well, I got some melon seeds and pumpkin seeds, and that was pretty cool. This is the chickenator. What it is, is chicken in a tube of water, held in by a sign at the bottom or one of the fence gates, if you want to have it not near a wall, like you could have it just floating in the middle of the air with a fence gate underneath. Uh, the chicken will drop eggs. What you do is you put the eggs in the dispenser up on top here, and the tube has to be made out of glass, and you can have two dispensers hooked up to the same thing, no more than two. And you flick the lever quick, and it makes more chickens. And you can keep doing that as much as you want. More and more chickens will come inside, more and more eggs will accumulate. Quicker and quicker. It's still a prototype though, because sometimes chickens escape. If you make it out of solid blocks, the chickens will get stuck on the walls and die. Same if you have four dispensers. It needs to hit a glass wall. Because Lim's head is smothering, the chickens get forced out of it. And it's out of eggs, you can tell because it clicked. Now the reason I'm doing that is I like to have arrows and long distance food, and I'm still just starting out. And having chickens around, it really helps. Sometimes the chickens will lag the game though, so... What I can do is, I can come underneath, and just kill them. They'll drop the food and the feathers to me, and the XP is too. And I can just pop the chicken up in here, with my excess saplings, which you get a lot of. So you're not wasting one coal on two chickens. And that's pretty cool, I like it. It's just a prototype though, I'll do a tutorial if I figure out 100% how to stop them from escaping and to automate it so you only have to press this once. But it's a nice basic concept and it's pretty cool. Alright guys, I'm about to explain why it's been so long between videos. I need to start out with an anguished scream though. And I apologize in advance. Oh god, I sound like a walrus. Or always. If you watch Cat Ventures, I sound like Trotimus. That's a great series by the way. Annotation. 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 They do that all the time and it's hilarious. Basically, for some reason, not in the middle of videos, but from one video to the next, one of my videos that I recorded would have sound, and the next one wouldn't. And the next one would, the one after that would, and the next one wouldn't. And that didn't happen in such a way as I could edit them together into a nice full video. And I record these when I feel like playing. And I'm not doing stuff like, say, tree farming. 
which is boring. <laughs> um, with me doing that in batches, I didn't notice till like a, a week and a half afterwards that that it was happening. And I'm pretty sure it was a problem with traps. I'm pretty sure I fixed it. Even if I haven't, it re records half the time, so hopefully this <laughs> records the sound. <laughs> um, but no, I did so much cool stuff, and just the sound kept cutting off. Like, the wife started playing Minecraft. It's so awesome. She's really pro for just starting out. She punched a spider to death her first night. She saw this, though, and the tiny 2x2 two two pen. And she felt sad for them, so I had to make it bigger. There's a chest for the free wheat and a path, and it's nice and pretty, but, uh... I told her I couldn't let the sheep out till the biodome was done, because they would wander away. <laughs> and they would, because they're not too bright. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, half of them are going into a secret mob compressor. Don't, don't tell her, guys. Alright, I'll, I'll just tell you some of the stuff that's been happening. I do at least have video clips, and some of them have sound, so maybe I'll be able to show you some of it. I've been working on a... mob trap, first of all, that can capture Endermen, because I really, really, really want to be able to make the eyes of Ender and get to the end. So I think I'm going to actually show some clips now, because I did have some fun stuff happen. And even if I can't show it all to you, you guys will enjoy what I can. And afterwards, either this episode or right afterwards, I'm going to head into the nether, try to get some blaze rods, and come back and make speed potions and run around everywhere like an idiot. It'll be great. <laughs> so hey, I was um finishing building my nether portal. And, of course, I need to pretty up the starting area, so I need sand. And when you're digging sand, and you uncover, like, the edge of a canyon, of course you have to check it out. And when there's a mine... ...joining up with that canyon, of course you have to go visit the mine. And, uh... <laughs> when you hear a lot of zombie noises, <laughs> of course you have to go check it out. And this is why it takes me so long to get shit done. Are you ready? Zombies. Nice. Oh, hell, look at all those Endermen. So I want it, right, guys? Lots and lots of Endermen. Let me just, uh,. I'm shooting at me. No, oh, it's you, I see. 
I'm doing like no damage from this guy. Enchanting all your armor just with the level 1 protect. Very good idea, apparently. I don't have anything left with sharpness on it, though. So this might be harder than it needs to be. I have sworn I saw two of you guys. And so... Okay, so we're gonna play this man. Tell me if you've heard this one before. I'm just, uh, don't mind me, buddy. I'm just, uh, just trying to set you on fire. Yeah! There we go. That should weaken him, at least. Oh, look at that. I love their animation when they're on fire. Yeah! Check it out! Ender Pearl. Nice chunk of XP's. Your spiders. Endermen aren't scary. Spiders are scary. Cave spiders. Could just be a normal spider man. Oh, you saw it, whatever it is. That seems like maybe it's a cave spider. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, burn! Cave spiders. Nature's the last holes. There we go. Of course they're lurking up where I can't hit them, so... There we go. Cave spider problem solved. Don't need to ever worry about those guys again. There we go. Finally made it to the surface. I was recording all the way up, but I think that may have been slightly boring to watch if I were to leave it as is. I'm doing my usual stick when I find an important place. Tunneling my way up to the surface. Placing nice uh, ladders for breathing. Finding where the heck I am. Now that I'm here... Oops. Dang it. Alright, so we got our wood back. Did a little decorating down there. Where one ender pearl. Should I leave it in a chest? Oh, dang it. So while we're down here, I had an idea. I actually started on it a bit while I was tidying up the place. Hatch labs don't let light through. And this will make it easier to climb up here. But also, it'll make it so the only place dark enough for them to spawn should be underneath right here. I'm wondering if I didn't give them enough room, maybe. So I invented this while I was down here. Just for fun, you understand. You can kill mobs through here and get the XP's. It's the only place they'll spawn and you can run up into this corner if you want their drops. Actually thinking about it, I bet if I put a block here, you could kill them and get their drops without worrying about it. But say if it's something pretty useless like zombies, you can have a half slab there and it won't pick it up. All this is is half slabs, the block above them in the middle, then full blocks underneath that'll give two clearance for it to spawn and make it dark inside.
Yeah, there we go. This is definitely not the fastest thing in the world, but if you're a newer player, all you really have is some half slabs and maybe a stone sword and you just want to get some XP's quick. This is a pretty decent way to do it. It's I guess an okay way to get arrows and stuff. Though you'd be better off looking at some of the cool mob killing devices online that I've run into. Man, I get way too easily distracted. What? What was that? I'm supposed to be going up the ladder. I don't know why you guys keep saying that. It's like they want me to get out of here for some reason. This place is too gloomy. It needs some decoration. What? Fine. I don't know why you want your house decorated. Get out of here. I hate how paintings work. You have to place them and place them and place them and place them. Maybe if I do it in the middle. Oh, it's too big. You think you could do better? You want me to let you out? Oh! That's why I have this. Delicious flesh. Nom 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 nom. I have a feeling what I want to be one episode is going to be 50. And this one will be called Cake Builds a Mine Thing, maybe. There we go. There, it's beautiful now. Perfect. Am I being too picky, guys? Tell me if I'm being too picky. This is nice, though. We got a nice little mining base set up. Got a spawner here. For emergency food. And extra experience. Alright, time to head up the ladder again. Let's see if it works this time. Almost there. Yes. We will call you... Oh, I hate those guys. Hey guys, I just rounded a corner doing a little mini exploring between building things, and I found it. Found the best thing ever. A. This is going to be my sand mine. And B. There's something I told one of my very first subscribers I would do, not been able to do. They couldn't find a slime balls for sticky pistons or the cactus for cactus green. I just got the cactus. One out of two. I just find a place where those slimes spawn and we will be set. There we go. Oh yeah. If you step back enough, the lighting actually works. Ooh, go Minecraft. This? 
No. No. Ah, well. Hey! There we go. And it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do a little sprinting through the here, because I have been exploring, like I said. And y'all will always see, whenever I... What the heck is that? Is that it? Is that it? Oh! Yeah, this is my first town, guys. This is my first town. Look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Their road making skills are shit, but this is awesome. <laughs> Their house making skills is shit. This is. Hey, guy. You were trapped. Go get something to eat. Uh, you, you smell funny. You might wanna. You might wanna visit the well. Go get a bath. Um, just saying, man. Oh! I hope these guys do something eventually, but honestly, don't even give a shit. This is a Come on, really? You're gonna build your house in the second oh can't even talk to you. You don't get stairs. Oh, cool. He didn't injure himself, at least. Can you can you climb ladders? Go on. Go on, little dude. You too. Go for it. He's too busy getting a bath. Yeah, he smelled bad, too. I'm gonna see who else has been trapped in their own houses. Via incompetence. Hey, dude. Is this... This is the main thoroughfare of the town. In the middle of a desert. It's filled with water. This is pro-level incompetence, guys. I can't think you did this accidentally. Uh, see, he's got a different shirt. He's the smartest man in the village. They respect him for being able to get in and out of his house. And not smelling like shit. <laughs> Got a little patio. He didn't build it underwater. Oh, he's a clever dude. Classy part of town. Check this out. Oh yeah. They got uh glass panes. It's funny because I don't see any furnaces. I hear there's a special one who dresses extra ornately. And a blacksmith and like a whole bunch of stuff like that. I thought these guys looked super dorky when I saw videos of them before they actually got released. And they do, but they're pretty cool at the same time. It's weird. Who lives here? Nobody? Anybody in here? I want to at least find your blacksmith. Right, well. There. Road out of town ends right near that giant world hole. Wow. To bugs. It'd be super sad if you guys didn't have a blacksmith.
when they wandered over their own seeds. Come on, guys. Use your brains. Just gonna call him stupid for wandering around in the water, but uh, look where I am. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gonna be a well. I've seen everyone jump into the well to see what was in it and then not be able to get out. But you know what? I always carry ladders. Oh, oh, oh. My well also has nothing in it. I don't even know why I felt compelled to check. If anyone knows why they felt compelled to check, leave a comment. He now let me out of here. There we go. I'm torn between making their houses not look like shit and stealing all of their wood. Road ends. It's not time, so I'm gonna. Always be prepared. Yeah, they'll get a little town wall. Get uh, some better lighting, I think. You guys' lives are going to improve dramatically. And if you ever get AI, you're going to be angry at me for wrecking all your shit up, but I don't care. This place looks shitty. Really, guys? Put little fences, keep them away from their own crops. I wish they dropped leather like cows. They remind me of cows. At least the AI and the pathing and whatnots. I've heard they could to climb up and down ladders properly and sleep in beds if you place them. Well, lay down in beds. And I get that, I do, but... They wander like the cows, pretty much. I get him. I think I got him. Nice. Alright, that's that's it for this crazy place. Alright guys, that was the last clip video for now. I hope you didn't hate it at least. <laughs> I'm sorry I lost so much footage. It really it really would have been a lot better if I'd been able to keep it and show you guys what I've been up to properly. I wanted to give you a look at my mob trap before we head it off though. You can see the rates are really low on it. Uh, it's mostly because the design's pretty small and inefficient right now, but I'll be working on that soon. Next vid though, I'm heading into the nether, getting a blaze spawner and building a blaze trap that'll net you XP and blaze rods for potion stands and brewing and everything. And that'll be pretty fun. For now, I'm just going to give you a look around here. Going to head up to my lovely nether portal. Bye for now, fellow Minecrafters. I hope you check out my next video, which will be coming really, really soon, since I already, already filmed it. Ah! <laughs> hey, new achieves! Isn't that right, pig baby? You like the new achieves? Aw, oh, pig baby. Alright. I will see you all soon, and you will get to see... how I've been getting on in the nether. Oh, ho, ho.